I am going live to show you <clears throat> what I got at Trader Joe's today. Um, I'm a little, I think I'm getting cold, so it won't be as perky as usual. But I want to start off with um, some crackers I'm really excited about for a couple reasons. Um, one is that they're gluten free, which is always a plus with me. They're made with rice, not corn. And then the second is um, they taste like pizza, <laughs> and I love pizza. Um, I actually work for Mod Pizza. I do all the real estate for them. And on the side, I, I do this account as a hobby. Um, so if you ever go to go get pizza, go to Mod Pizza. Um, it's the best one out there. Um, but these, if you don't have pizza readily available or there's not a Mod Pizza near you yet, try these crackers. Um, they're they're gluten free. There's the ingredients. Um, but just know that they're, they're, they're gluten-free and the main ingredient is brown rice flour. They're really good. I've already gone into them. I think I've eaten four. Um, I will be honest, the pizza flavor is right when it hits your palate. Um, once you chew a couple times, the, the pizza flavor goes down a little bit. But it's very good. Um, let's see. Oh! Okay, these, I, I meant to put these in my boyfriend's bag. Um, the thing is with these, these are crack, and they're highly addictive, and um, it's, it's dark chocolate with sea salt coated over an almond. If, if there was one item in the entire world that makes it a better place, it's probably these. Uh, it's, it's so good. They're literally amazing. Turn it, and um, yeah. Sea salt and turbino, dark chocolate, get these. Um, I occasionally don't buy them for a long period of time because it's, um, they're addictive. Like these will be gone very quickly. Um, for the girls out there, um, I, I, I got these two things. Um, this one's the Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. Um, I had this and I loved it and I went home this weekend and my mom liked it so I gave her mine so I had to re-get mine. Um, and I'll save this life, this, okay, I promise. Um, and then this one, I haven't tried yet, but this is just the antioxidant facial serum for all skin types. Um, I'm assuming it's good. And on the back, it, it has this, it, it, this luxurious feeling antioxidant serum will leave your skin feeling velvety smooth while supplying it with an abundance of antioxidants, including, including reservatol. That's what's found in red wine. So there's wine in this, but don't drink it and encapsulated vitamin C beads. So this sounds like a wild Friday night. Um, so generally I, I shop at the Santa Monica Trader Joe's, but today I shopped at the um, Toluca Lake Trader Joe's and they had this dressing, they had one. So I ran and I, I took it because they're sold out all the time and this is so good. I use it like, I massage kale with it a lot. Um, kale loves this, great, goes great. Um, this is vegan. Imperishable. Let's see. I've got sweet potato ribbons. Um, I think three posts ago, um, I can't remember, I did a repost, and one of the girls did these with some tomato sauce, and it just looked like a really good pasta. Um, so I, I got these, and I'm gonna do exactly what they did with a pasta, a red sauce. So saute with olive oil, a red sauce, um, a little bit of feta, feta cheese, and um, you put it in your mouth and it's good. Um, <clears throat> I mentioned I feel like I'm getting sick, so I, I've stocked up on some soup. I got the, the lentil with ancient grains, high in fiber soup. Um, this looks really good. Again, it, it looks gluten free. Um, no fillers like corn or soy, uh, just lentils, salt, um, it, it's a bit salty, but I like salt, so, um, but it looks good. Yeah, lentils, ancient grains. I got two of these because I'm, I'm prepping that I might be sick for like a day and a half or more days than that. Um, I showed these last time. This was when I, I went outside my comfort zone. This is officially in my comfort zone, um, and, and it's no longer outside of my comfort zone. This was amazing, and it, it tasted like cold pasta. I ate it cold, so I think if you heat it up, it would taste like um, hot pasta, but it, it's very good. Um, I got um, two rock hard avocados again. Um, I was going to get the, the little ones, but 
I like normal size avocados. Everyone says the little ones are cheaper, but that's because you get less avocado. So um, th these I'll give them, I'll give these a day and a half, two days, they'll be ripe. Oh, um, organic white quinoa. Uh, quinoa is every week. I love quinoa. I make it in my rice cooker. Um, always two to one ratio. Uh, water to uh, the, the quinoa. So two cups water. Sorry, two cups quinoa. Shoot. One cup quinoa to two cups water in the rice cooker. Um, these things are great. I've been getting them since I came out. There's two patties per box. Each patty has 26 grams of protein. I mean, these are gluten-free and, and they're, they're, they're vegan. Vegan, not to be confused with vegan, but vegan. Um, and I use these, just I, I make them into hamburger salads. Um, and then I also will put the taco spice on it and then turn it into tacos. I turn everything into tacos. Um, Persian cucumbers. These I buy off and on and I like them and they're good in salads. Um, my boyfriend uh, refuses to buy things like this because he says it's just wasted space and it's water. Um, but I like the crunch and the crunch means something to me. So um, I buy the Persian cucumbers and they're great. In salads, you just eat it as a snack. Um, you can dip it in things. You could dip it in that, I bet these two would go good together. Dipping, just an idea. Um, oh, broccolini. I haven't bought broccolini in forever. <laughs> and I uh, I finally bought broccolini because I ate some this weekend at a restaurant with some olive oil and lemon juice, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of cayenne pepper, and it was phenomenal. And so I'm going to bring the broccolini back into the rotation. It was out for a while, now it's back in. So definitely get this. Um, and then uh, or organic chia bars. These are great little snacks. Um, if you're going to do a workout class, they're, they're small. I think they're, yeah, 100 calories each. Um, about 4 grams of sugar, 3 grams of protein, 5 grams of fat. They're great. They hold you over through the workout, and then you can go eat your real, real meal afterwards. Um, that's it. Now I've got everything on the counter, and I have to put it into the fridge. So I will save this one because I didn't save the last one. Um, and one day, one day I'll redo my kitchen and I'll have swivel cameras so you guys can see everything. Um, but for now, these are definitely a win. You can't miss them. Here, I'll take, I'll do a, I'll eat one. Let's see. This is the cracker. I think it's true to size on the box. Let's see, it's true to size. Okay. Cracker. Good crunch. I mean, you can get two bites out of it. Two bites per cracker. It's a good ratio. It doesn't crumble, it stays together. Tastes like pizza. And, um, yeah. <laughs> it's good. Um, definitely, definitely get these. Um, they don't taste like tomato soup. They taste like pizza. So, thanks for tuning in. And I'll, I'll do this next time. My whole haul was $82, uh, largely attributed to these things are like nine bucks each, so take these off and it's a pretty good deal. Bye.